Hey, what's going on guys? Hanna Labin here, and today we're gonna be doing my third weekly fragrance rotation video. Um, but really quick before we get to that, if this is the first time you guys are tuning into my channel, what I do here is I make uh, fragrance related type of content. So if you love anything that has to do with fragrances, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean everything to me. But without further ado, if you guys wanna know what I've been wearing this week, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so starting the week off on Sunday, as we always do. Um, on Sunday was actually the warmest day of the week. It was actually a high of 71, which is pretty warm here in Ohio for spring. Um, so I actually had to pull out a fragrance that is probably one of my most complimented fragrances of all time in my collection currently. And that fragrance is none other than Yi Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. Now this fragrance here, guys, is just a blast of like bergamot, apple, it's just so good in the warmer months, guys. You cannot go wrong with this. And if you guys want a strong performing fragrance in those warmer months, this is definitely your go-to. Why? By uh, Yi Saint Laurent, the Eau de Parfum. Now, the, um, <clears throat> on this day, I actually stayed home, so I didn't go to work or anything like that. Just relaxed at home on Sunday. And since it was warm, I decided to pull this one out. And I went with um, three sprays. And this thing lasts for a very long time, and it projects so beastly as well. So like I said, guys, that's what I went with on Sunday was why Eau de Parfum. Let's go on over to Monday. All right, so on Monday, I actually went to work and on that day, it was actually a little bit cooler, uh, not as warm as on Sunday. And I actually pulled out um, Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Now this is probably one of my favorite leather scents of all time. Just that raspberry note mixed with the leather. is just so classy smelling, guys. You cannot go wrong with this here. This is actually my first uh, Tom Ford private blend as well. I just fell in love with this the first time I smelled it, guys. And on that day, um, I actually went with uh, three sprays like I usually do. And since it was at work, but unfortunately, well, actually, no, I did actually get a compliment from my girlfriend. She loves this. We actually picked this out kind of together um, when we went to the store. So we both love Tuscan leather, which is kind of shocking because I know a lot of girls don't actually um, go for the leather kind of darker smells. These are like uh, either like fresh or gourmand or things like that. But I did get a compliment while wearing this. And yeah, this is probably, I mean, this is honestly my favorite Tom Ford there is at the moment uh, that I've smelled at least. I just, I'm, I'm so in love with this. I always, always smell it from the cap when I can't wear it. Cause you can't really um, wear this one all the time. It's not that versatile, uh, but I do like to pull it out once in a while in, in the cooler months. And since we're gonna get it over to spring, um, I just wanted to wear this like probably one last time for quite a long time. Uh, but yeah, that's what I went with on Monday was Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Let's go on over to Tuesday now. All right, guys. So on Tuesday, um, I actually stayed home as well. So I did not work on Tuesday and it was kind of cooler, but I didn't really do anything but like just stay inside. And so I had to actually pull out um, Christian Dior Ohm, the original. Uh, and yeah, guys, this is just a fantastic, well-blended masterpiece, in my opinion. It's got that iris note, which makes it like a very lipsticky kind of vibe to it. But it's definitely not feminine in any kind of way. I don't know how Dior did it. Um, but yeah, it is pretty masculine for having that iris note in it. It's just amazing, guys. This is probably my favorite fragrance to just wear at home and just relax. This is so comforting to my nose. And yeah, so I went with, um, I believe, yeah, I went with two sprays since I just sat at home and didn't really want to go overboard on it since I wasn't outside or anything like that. Unfortunately, I did not get any compliments uh, since I was at home, obviously. But yeah, that's what I pulled out was Christian Dior Ohm. It's just a fantastic masterpiece, in my opinion. Uh, let's go on over to Wednesday now. All right, guys, so on Wednesday, I was also at home. And since I was at home, I actually had to pull out a fragrance that actually means a lot to me. I have a lot of sentimental value to me, uh, a lot of memories that were made with this fragrance. And that fragrance is none other than Versace the Dreamer. Now I wore this fragrance throughout my uh, teenage years and I will always have this in my collection. So I just wanted to put it on to kind of reminisce on the old times and just relax at home. It's just a fantastic like tobacco kind of fragrance. Now, to be honest though, this is not for everyone. Uh, you either have people that absolutely hate this fragrance or people that absolutely adore this fragrance. So if you guys are thinking about picking up Versace the Dreamer, definitely either go test it out somewhere um, or get like a sample of it. Even though I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this fragrance was actually discontinued. So as you can see, I just picked up a recent uh, 100 ml bottle of it just to have in my collection probably forever, guys. It's just that, it's just so good to me. And it just brings me back to like happy times. Uh, but with this fragrance, um, I actually went with three sprays, this around my neck. 
kind of went a little bit a little bit more than uh before because i actually wanted to smell this quite a bit throughout the day um but yeah i didn't get any comments on versace the dreamer unfortunately but that's what i pour out, pulled out on wednesday when i was at home the dreamer by versace let's go on over to thursday now all right guys so on thursday i actually did go to work um and also on that day it was a little bit cooler as well and i actually pulled out a fragrance i just recently did a first impressions and unboxing on and that's actually carolina herrera ch man Privé. now i actually wanted to test this fragrance out so i did wear it to work i know i wore it in one of my other weekly fragrance rotation videos oh it was the first day i bought it when i just wore it at home but i wanted to test it out out in the public and stuff like that i actually went heavy on the sprayer or two i went off uh, five sprays i usually like you guys know i do like three at most most of the time but i went with five sprays guys unfortunately did not get any compliments a lot of people are not coming close to people a lot of people wearing face masks into the coronavirus especially at my work everyone is wearing face masks guys but this is just a fantastic leather boozy whiskey kind of vibe i just absolutely love this fragrance i'm so glad i picked this up for my collection and blind bought it it did not um it did not go wrong at all to me guys i'm actually impressed with this here but yeah that's what i went with on thursday was ch man Privé. if you guys want to see my first impressions of this you can definitely go check out that video um if you want but yeah let's go on over to friday now all right guys so on friday i was also at work on another cooler day uh, i think this should be like the last week of the quarter days it should start warming up uh starting next week i believe from what it looks like but on f friday um yeah like i said i was at work so i actually pulled out victor and ralph's spice bomb this is not the extreme this is just the original guys and i absolutely love this fragrance so much um it's got like a um that's, it has tobacco in it it's really spicy it's obviously since it's called spice bomb and this just works so well in the quarter months guys if you want something that is strong long lasting and performs like a beast definitely check out spice bomb you can either go with spice bomb or the extreme i personally i know i might get a, um, a lot of backlash but i actually like the original spice bomb better than the extreme i don't know what it is but i just i just love this it's just a masterpiece the original by victor rolf um and this fragrance actually kind of started my whole journey in the uh, fragrances to be quite honest with you was spice bomb so i adore this fragrance so that might be why as well but yeah i went with four sprays on this so i did a little bit more than usual as well so i'm trying to do like a little bit more sprays and things like that especially since like i said before a lot of people wear masks and stuff but yeah four sprays um i did get one comment from my girlfriend actually she loves this fragrance guys and yeah that's spice bomb by victor and Ruff. you cannot go wrong with this in the quarter months let's go on over to the last day saturday now all right guys so on saturday um i actually was at home also on saturday it was a little bit warmer of a day um it was starting to warm up on that day like i think around the 60s mid 60s i believe but i actually pulled out azaro's wanted this is the original not the by night or the new tonic which i do want to get my nose on but yeah this is just the original wanted guys this is just a fantastic clean fresh smelling fragrance that you cannot go wrong with um like spraying after a shower um this is a very long lasting fragrance from my experience and it projects amazing also i know a lot of people like to use this um like for in the club kind of like a uh, lamal or ultra mall or arrows by versace this would work perfectly well in that kind of situation also so yeah this is kind of like a clubbing fragrance but with this since i was at home just wanted to smell fresh and clean uh, I went with three sprays on it, and I did get a comment on this fragrance also from my girlfriend. She actually likes this fragrance so much, she actually said that she wants to spray it on herself. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that will work out well, but yeah, that's what I went with was Azara Wanted on Saturday, just staying at home. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I wore throughout the week. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of fragrances you guys wore throughout the week. I'm definitely curious to know. Um, and yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, liking the video and leaving a comment down below. And if you guys want to see any kind of reviews on any of these fragrances, I will definitely do so. So let me know that. But yeah, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys take care now.